Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and this is the first video of a three-part video series on creating a KPI dashboard in Excel. Now let me show you the data that we would be using to create this dashboard. Here I have the data for 100 companies and these companies are named COM1, COM2 and so on. And I have four KPI values for each of these companies. So I have KPI 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now using this data, we would be creating a dashboard and let me first show you the fully functional dashboard. Uh, on this screen, you would see that here on the left, we have a scatter chart and you have the option of selecting the KPIs on for the x-axis and for the y-axis. So in this case, let's say I select KPI 1 for x-axis. Uh, this scatter chart instantly updates with the value of KPI 1 and KPI 2. Similarly, you can change the KPIs for uh, the y-axis as well. Now, in this scatter chart, you also have the option to identify a company. So in this case, for example, if I select, say, company 1, I would instantly know that this company lies in the bottom left quadrant because it's highlighted here with a data label. Similarly, you can spot any company from the list. And at the same time, you also have a dynamic interpretation of this data point. So for example, if we look at COMP5, which is at the top left quadrant, it says company 5 outperforms in KPI 3. However, it lags its peers in KPI 1. And in case I change it and see what happens as soon as I click on this, when I click on COMP1, this would change and instantly this dynamic interpretation would change for this data point, which would say company 1 lags in both the KPIs. Now, this is a generic interpretation, but you can have more specific ones, say uh, the income margins or the net profit margin uh, is low because of high cost or the company's uh, profitability is high despite the cost being high. So you can have these interpretations here. Now, once you have identified the quadrant where you want to focus, say you want to focus on the top left quadrant, you can get the list of all these companies by using these radio buttons. So in this case, I have all top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. In case you want all the companies, you can select this option. And when you go down, you would have all the hundred companies here. But if you only want to focus on top left companies, top left quadrant, and you want to get the list of all these companies, you can select this and now you would have all these companies. There are 27 companies in the top left quadrant and these are highlighted here. Uh, you would also have the KPI values for all these companies of the selected quadrant and this is also these are also highlighted uh, with a heat map so that you can identify that KPI 1 in case of company 6 KPI 1 value is low while KPI 2 and 3 are high. And at the same time here at the bottom, you have this bullet chart. So whenever you change this company name here, see that the bullet chart would update automatically. If I select say company five, these values would update. And this shows me company five's performance on these KPIs as compared to the peer average. And we have these bullet charts. These are dynamic. Whenever you change these company names, this bullet chart would update. So in a nutshell, you have data, you can quickly segment this data into four quadrants using this scatter chart. Once you have identified the quadrant, you can get a list of these companies. And at the same time, you can deep dive into individual accounts by using this bullet chart. Now, let me show you how to create this. I would be showing you this uh, dashboard creation process in three parts. So in this video, I would show you how to create this scatter chart, this dynamic scatter chart. So here, I have the data in place and the first thing that I would do is I would convert this data into an Excel table because it makes it easier for me to refer to it in the formulas. So to do that I would press Control T and I would simply hit OK because it has guessed the range correctly. I would hit OK and now I would go to design and here I would rename this table. So I would it as of now has a generic name table 2 but I would rename it to KPI data. And now I can use this name in the formulas. In the calculation tab here, I have uh, all the headers in place so that I can quickly create this video. And the idea is that now when I create dashboard, I would be using these cell links and this data for all the calculations and then feed it into the scatter chart. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to insert those drop downs that you see in the scatter chart for X axis and Y axis. So I would go to the developer tab and here in insert, I would go to this combo box sorry this combo box here and uh, I would 
give it an input range so to do that I would right click and I would go to format control and here I would have to give an input range which, which would be these KPI so I already had this list here and I would give have to give a cell link so that whenever I select one of these KPIs something needs to change so that the dash, uh, dashboard becomes dynamic and I would link this cell B8 here because this would be my x-axis so to do that I would simply go to calculations and select this cell and I only have four KPIs so I would change this to four and now see what happens when I click on it it shows me these four KPIs and I can quickly resize it because I do not want such a big drop down so I can resize it I can also duplicate it so I can simply copy it and paste it and change the cell link because input range would remain the same I only need to change the cell link which would be B9 and this would become my Y axis uh, drop down so which would mean that I need to correct this I would go to format control and link it to this cell and again 4 would be the number of uh, entries that I see now this would be my uh, Y axis drop down and this would be my X axis drop down now I need to create the uh, scatter chart and see what happens when I select one of these values say I select KPI 2 in Y axis this number which is the position of this KPI in this list appears here which is 2 and when I select KPI 1 here then this value appears here now I would use these to get my data from the backend and then I would use that data to feed it into the scatter chart so to do that first I would have to get the data for x-axis and x-axis would be KPI 1 because this is the value that I've selected first KPI from this list so to do that I would simply use index formula my array would be KPI data and here in row number I would simply use rows formula and I would hit F4 and in column number I need to know what would be the column number from the data where I had company in column A then company KPI 1, 2, 3 and 4 so in this case I would simply uh, select this value and add 1 to it and now when I hit enter it gives me 27 now if I go back and cross check this is right because KPI 1 is 27 if I change this to 2 this would become 80 which is again the right value so now I would simply drag this down and I would have these values for all these companies now I need to simply replicate this formula again to get y-axis values with a minor change instead of B8 I need to refer it to B9 which is this cell and now when I hit enter it would give me the right result now this is the value that I would feed into the scatter chart let me insert the scatter chart here only and show you how it works so I would insert the scatter chart and you can see this is not the right range that it, it has guessed so I would remove it and I would add a new series here my x-axis values would be all these values here in column B and y-axis would be all these values here and now when I click OK you can see that I have uh, the chart here since I have selected the same KPI on both these axes I see this diagonal line but if I change this you would see that now this chart is updating automatically now if I copy this chart here and put it here see what happens when I change the KPI this is for the x-axis KPI so let me put it here and this is for the y-axis so let me put it here and now if I change this to say KPI 1 and this to say KPI 3 then automatically this chart is getting updated and the final thing that I need to do is I need to update the chart title based on the KPIs that I've selected so this is a simple thing all I need to do is I need to identify the position of the KPI that I've selected and then put it here so what I would do is simply I would use the index function this is my array 4 and 
since this is only one dimensional, I need not provide uh, this separately row number and column number. I can simply select one of these. Uh, and since it's x axis, I would select this number B8 and F4 to lock it. And what it returns here is KPI 3. And I would simply use ampersand operator, say versus ampersand. And again, in index formula, the same thing here F4 and I would select B9 here and again F4 to lock it and now you can see it gives me KPI 3 versus KPI 1 and all I need to do here is go to this chart title go to the formula bar press equal to sign and here in calculations select E15 and as soon as I do this it would show KPI 3 versus KPI 1 and now I can format it maybe bold it italicize it and do some stuff but this is how you can create a scatter chart now you can position the scatter chart nicely as we saw in the dashboard and this would work perfectly so this is how you can create a dynamic scatter chart in Excel in the second video I will show you how to spot a data point in the scatter chart and how to create the dynamic interpretation for the data point in the scatter chart so that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.